Hey guys, Crypto Dad back again. So we're at the last leg of our journey in our installation of Debian on an encrypted internal solid state drive with a flash drive boot. So uh, I hope you've joined me for my other videos. Uh, you should take a look at parts one and two and the intro to make sure you're up to speed with where we are in the installation but I wanted to include every part of the installation so you'd have a chance to see what to do at each phase. So let's switch back over to our big screen. Uh, let's see here. We're going to do this. Okay, guys. Okay, so after in uh, getting through most of the installation, we're at this last point here. Let me adjust my camera just a tad so you can see everything. Okay, uh, after uh, we did most of the installation, it went through uh, connecting to the mirrors and downloading all of the latest uh, pieces of the Debian installation. And uh, now we get to this last uh, couple of decisions that we need to make. And uh, this window is asking us if we wish to install the Grub bootloader on the hard disk. Okay, we're going to say yes. And then our next screen is going to ask us uh, which drive we want to install the Grub bootloader on. So at this point, we make a crucial cho choice. We don't want to mess this installation up after coming so far. Now, this is the encrypted uh, internal hard drive. This is our installation media, the SanDisk Extreme. And this is the boot drive that we've installed. So, of course, your choices are going to be slightly different, but uh, you want to make note of, uh, at the beginning of the installation, what the names of all of your devices are. Um, and then also you're going to make note of this uh, dev slash uh, sdb, which is the uh, name that gets assigned to this particular device during the Debian installation. Yours might be different. So I'm going to make note of mine, which is SDB. Um, most likely that's yours as well. We're going to need that in the next phase. So we highlight this uh, drive and we hit enter. And then it's going to continue on with the Grub installation. We're down to the final phases of this installation. Uh, once we get the Grub installer installed on the uh, boot drive, which is our uh, small flash drive, then uh, we're going to be able to boot Debian up from this drive. And what will happen is it will boot up from the flash drive, and then it will connect to the encrypted drive, and it will ask us to enter the uh, encryption key, which in this case is going to be our long passphrase that we chose during our uh, main part of the installation okay so it's just finishing up now we're getting down to the wire I wanted to take you through the entire installation so you could see how this worked out so that you would have me there every step of the way so that you would know which choice to make at every decision process decision point uh, okay so this last little update is uh, updating all of the drives that are involved Okay, here we go. So this is the last step. If you uh, are doing this with a CD-ROM drive, at this point the uh, drive pops out of the tray and uh, gives you a jolt. But uh, in my case, I used a uh, flash drive. So what I'm going to do now, after I hit continue, the machine is going to reboot. I'm going to remove the uh, flash drive installation, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay? one more little tick I'm gonna pull out that flash drive alright uh, so the installation media has been removed we'll set that guy aside and now we're gonna enter our BIOS password as I mentioned not everyone has a BIOS password on their BIOS okay now like I said I directed the BIOS to boot from any flash drive which happens to be in the USB port so at this point the only drive left was our uh, flash drive um, the one that we configured during the installation so boot it up from there 
It's looking for, uh, according to the Grub Bootloader, it should find the Debian uh, VG volume group. Can't find it. So now it checks the drive and uh, it says, hey, you're going to have to unlock this drive for me to continue my boot process. So remember, we had a long passphrase. Hopefully I typed that guy in there correctly. Wonderful. Okay. So now Debian goes through its boot process. We get to the uh, main login screen and there it is. What a beautiful thing that is, right? So we just hit enter and this is user. So we type in the whatever password we created for the user account. And lo and behold, here we are at the Debian desktop. We have successfully installed Debian onto an encrypted solid state hard drive and we're booting from a flash drive. And everything went great. So as you can see, um, well, let's see, I have my mouse. There's another, I have two mice here running around all over the place. You can click here and see that the default installation of Debian went great. Okay. Okay, so what's our next step? Uh, our next step is to bask in our glory. We've successfully done this install. But uh, after this, the next thing we're going to do is go through some really complicated encryption uh, commands that are going to... Uh, create a key file and then we're going to move that key file onto the boot drive and then uh, from there we'll th the only way possible to get access to the system will be through this boot drive it'll be like a car key once we're done the computer won't start without it and then uh, it's small you can carry it with you when you leave the house so that your computer will be basically uh, unusable by anyone else should it be compromised okay uh, so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you like my series please subscribe and if you like this particular video give it a like I appreciate you joining me and hope to see you again soon thanks